Welcome back guys into TechQuest. I'm Steven and today we'll be tackling the project management and the age of collaboration. We're going to be diving deep into the Microsoft Lift, a really powerful tool designed to streamline teamwork and keep your projects on track in 2025. So first of all, what I need to do is to understand what exactly is the Microsoft Lift. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can just go directly into loop.cloud.microsoft where you can have access to the Microsoft Lift. Now the Microsoft Lift is a collaborative, a collaborative canvas that combines the power of all the documents, all your tasks, and all your list in just one uh, breakdown. For example, allow teams to work together in real time, no matter where they are. And the loop consists of three main elements. Basically, you have the loop components. These are uh, live. These are flexible, interactive pieces of content. Uh, you can see tables, there are a list, there are tasked, and even posed. So that can be embedded across different Microsoft 365 applications. There are loop pages. These are flexible canvases where you can organize your loop components and add context. And you have the short spaces where teams can gather and organize and add track progress on the projects. Now let's start with setting up a workspace for the first time. So open Microsoft Loop, go for loop.google.microsoft. You might be having access just by signing in. And once you are in here, what I need to do, of course, is to create a new workspace for my project. So let's go for the upper side, it says create new. And you can see that we have new workspace. I'm gonna click into new workspace and let's say that this is the, my workspace for TechPress. I'm gonna go ahead and click into the icon and let's say that I wanted to look out for a bulb, which is like a little bit kind of the logo of the text press if you have seen our videos. And to update my cover, you can choose uh, stock images or you can just upload your own. I think this one works for us because we like this green colors and it really um, emphasizes text press. Let's go for create. So we are now inside our very first workspace. Now let's start caused by customizing the workspace with a description and we have already added a cover image. So what we can do if I click here into my workspace, you can check out what are the workspace that we currently have and we can create more. Inside this workspace, we can see all the pages that we currently have. And here we can see the assigned. The assigned are the people who are who created of course these pages and you can check out the hierarchy of it. So, for example, into my page number one, let's say that I add the section that says tasks. And the second one, let's say that I go for calendar. And I'm going to add a new one, which should be, let's say, goals. And inside every page, what you can do is to start from scratch or you can start with a template. For example, creating some task list. You can create a shared task list, assign a task to team members, set deadlines, and track some progress. For example, let's go and create a loop component. This component, of course, is use the sidebar to navigate. Let's let's say, for example, create. There we go. And he, here, for example, here's my shot locations. This is an actual component. What I can do is to open this component into a new workspace or to add it into a loop workspace. Loop workspace is where I can just check out all my new workspace and I can redesign all of those. I'm going to close this because this is the first time we are in here. And for example, here you can check out here the dictionary, editor settings, manage languages, and add more. If I just tap here, the fast forward slash, what I can do is to add a progress tracker. A progress tracker is a visualized project process with charts and some graphics. So we can add the work area, for example, marketing. I can add the owner, would be myself, let's say the end of the month. We can add blockers, for example, uh, creation, um, I can add goalie, whatever. So I can just add more and more and more. You can see that here is the add in progress. As I am adding more and more and more, let's say completed, you should be appearing to down in here. The progress tracker is going to be really, really great to use. Now, something else that we can use is the button tables. The button tables, for example, here it is. You can see that here into the button table, we do have to the sessions collaboratively with voting tables. So for example, what is your idea? You can add all your posts and you can add all your const, right? 
Something else that you can do is to um, add even your own task list. So every time you wanted to add something else, for example, just go for fast forward and just add the item you wanted to add, for example, the task list. And you will be adding more and more and more elements into your page. Since this one is a component looped, it should be appeared now into my hierarchy and into my shell um, element here into my new workspace. So what I just need to do is just to click into the upper side. This says shared locations and check out the actual workspace where the element are appearing. Now, something else you can do, of course, is to collaborate and communicate. So loop shines when it comes to collaboration. So multiple team members can edit the loop component simultaneously, seeing changes in real time. So every time, for example, I just add here, this is the part where I can just add the person who I wanted to be talking about. Let's say, check this out. And they will be receiving a notification that they have now caused this new task into the mentioned. Now, something else you can do is to beam to the little components directly into your team's channel for Outlook emails, work documents, or keeping your private information accessible, whatever you want to work on. Just go for show. And you can see that we can show the workspace, all the pages, or just this page link or a loop component, like an Beam code that you can access and you can add into your Microsoft Elements. So go for settings, check out show with, and set the expiration date if you want to request verification, and which is the actual passcode in order to access all of it. And there you have it. I'm gonna just enable the workspace. There you have it guys, a really easy tutorial how we can actually use the Microsoft Loop. Everybody that has access to the Microsoft Loop could be having access to my own page. So uh, there you have it guys, that's how we can actually use the Microsoft Loop. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express for more Microsoft tips and tricks. How you're using the Microsoft Loop, you can let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, hopefully we can all see you next time.